In this video, we'll show you how to detect anomalies using streaming analytics and AI. My name is Anaga Devanji, and my colleague Prerna Balara and I are solution engineers for Google Cloud. Many companies are dealing with the proliferation of data and difficulty in making sense of that data at the speed required to make it useful. This solution aims at sifting through the mass of data to the events that need additional attention, those outliers that indicate that something is not going as expected. Now, what is anomaly detection? Spotting the unusual, catching fraud, and discovering strange activity. All of this sounds like Sherlock Holmes solving a mystery. That's what anomaly detection is, except we may not have a clear suspect to search for, and you may not even know what the crime is. When you see this example, do you spot any anomalies? First thought, it's fairly easy to see the large spike appears to be an outlier. But what if you have a large sample of data? Now the perception changes and what appeared to be an anomaly turns out to be part of a regular and familiar pattern. In this, the anomalous behavior is not the fact that there are spikes, but the observation that their frequency fluctuates during an episode. The highlighted region denotes an anomaly because the same low value exists for an abnormally long time. Anomalies are not defined by their own characteristics, but in contrast to what is normal. The speed with which businesses are able to identify anomalies impacts their options for response. For example, not detecting a fraudulent financial transaction immediately and instead waiting hours or even days often results in writing off the financial loss. On the other hand, finding the anomalous transaction in seconds allows for the invalidation of the transaction and corrective actions to prevent future fraud. Similarly, by detecting anomalies in industrial equipment, manufacturers can predict and prevent catastrophic failures that could cause capital and human loss by initiating proactive equipment shutdown and preventative maintenance. Likewise, for retail, we can see this being used to help manage inventory, detect fraud, and track user behavior patterns. Another example of an industry application is a telco company doing subscriber analytics and specifically focusing on detecting anonymous wireless traffic, real-time fraud detection on call and SIM and user behavior pattern. And across all these industries, cybersecurity is top of mind for most customers because of economic costs of intrusion and security attacks. Let's talk about how to design a system for intrusion detection. Let's deep dive into our story for today. In our story, we have Stacy, who's a data analyst. Her main role is to manage and monitor the network for a large corporation. She needs to ensure everything is running smoothly, and if there's an outage or unusual behavior, she needs to report it and take corrective action. Stacy's company currently has a hard time anticipating network traffic changes, which creates impediments in identifying cybersecurity attacks. They want to catch unusual behavior and security attacks in real time and take action. Leveraging Google Cloud streaming service, Stacy can monitor the network, analyze the traffic, and now has opportunity to review and take action such as file a ticket in near real time. When anomalies are found, the solution automatically sends an alert to Stacy and updates network health dashboards. Now let's see an overview of how Stacy implemented anomaly detection in Google Cloud environment. There's four major components to this. Ingest, extract and train, predict, and alert. The first step is ingesting unlabeled streaming data from all the sources. Google Cloud PubSub and Google Cloud Storage make it easy to ingest streaming data. Next, we transform and store this data in Google BigQuery, extract features using Dataflow, and train the model with just some SQL. After training this data, we use Dataflow to allow for online real-time reporting and highlighting outliers. But it isn't just enough to detect anomalies and monitor this data. The key is the action we take. BI tools such as Tableau and Looker allow you to not only view this information, but take appropriate action such as informing the security team. This was just a brief overview. Now let's take a closer look at each of these four components. My colleague Prerna Balara will take it forward. Let's assume I'm Stacy, an analyst tasked with solving this business problem that we discussed earlier. First, I look into the GitHub repository to understand 
all of the four steps mentioned earlier. The first step you might recall will be to ingest the data. Google Cloud's PubSub topic can help us with the streaming ingestion. In order to do so, we also need to stimulate production data to train our model. The photo on the right shows the schema for the model, which resembles a NetFlow schema. We notice about 250,000 events per second in my production environment, which comes up to about 20 terabytes of data from heterogeneous sources coming through a pub subtopic, some of which will be labeled, some may be unlabeled. Let's look at the next step. Now that we've set up the ingestion, the next question is, how do we ensure the solution is scalable? If you recall, we were generating or anticipating 250,000 events per second. We need to aggregate this data. This ties to the second step, which is extract and train. Using Dataflow Beam and its pre-built transforms such as minimum, maximum, and count, we can ingest and aggregate these logs or events, thereby reducing the number of elements or the amount volume of elements from 11 gigabytes to 1.03 gigabytes, as you can see. Additionally, Dataflow Beam allows us to auto-scale, thereby generating or helping us build a pipeline that is production ready. We will use BQML's key means clustering model to train this extracted data. We've decided to use key means as a, since it's a common algorithm used for unsupervised machine learning. As you can see, I wrote the SQL query to create a model, ran the command, and in 15 minutes, we have a model. Configuration is easy. Simply mention the columns I wanted as features and set the number of clusters. This is great because machine learning requires some trial and error and the quick turnaround time helps me to play with the configuration and determine the most optimum combination for my use case. Another great feature for an analyst is the scheduled query. I don't wanna just create a model one time and leave it. I want it to learn continuously and be updated with the latest patterns. Using a scheduled query and a stored procedure, I can rerun this query in a timely manner thereby keeping my model updated. Additionally, once the model is created, we will calculate the normalized distance for each centroid or grouping to determine if the input that we received is too far from the cluster, thereby deeming it as an outlier. Now that the model is ready, it's time to detect outliers. How do we do this? The answer is data flow. We pass the normalized data in the pipeline as an input, and we use this data to calculate how far our input data is from the center. It meets our distance threshold. We don't store them as an outlier. Uh, we store them as an outlier in the BigQuery table. The result: we are now notified of the outlier and can provide little to no downtime. Now that we have enabled real-time detection, it's time to view our results and most importantly, take appropriate action. We will leverage Google's Looker dashboard to do this. Let's take a look. As you can see, in this Looker dashboard, I can see the number of events, the sort, whether it was an anomaly, as well as the bytes. There is another column over here called actions, which allows me to take appropriate action. I can either create a JIRA ticket, text the security consultant, or email the security team thereby notifying my team of the right action. You can also use any other third-party tool that is supported by Google Cloud for your reporting needs. In summary, we've built this in a short time, processed over 250,000 events using Dataflow. We can consume all of this 20 terabytes of daily data from various sources, we trained and evaluated one terabyte data in 15 minutes using SQL. We found outliers in near real time and took appropriate action. We've covered a lot of ground. For more, implement, for more information on how to implement this in your environment, please check out the GitHub link.